What do you do when your client expresses discomfort in their big toe? How do you know if your client is feeling pain if they, they don't speak up? I'm gonna cover these concerns so that you know how to tackle these different types of toenails. Let's go ahead and begin. As what I'm seeing right now is my client has an involuted nail. I am going to start off my service with doing a little friendly, what I call a big toe hug. And I'm going to push the side of the skin into her toenail, just like this, that's why I call it a hug, and see how my client reacts. I'm gonna say, how does this feel? Tender. All right, now that I know that this is a little tender, I am going to take the Poto Expert Kala Softener and spray right on top of that toenail and allow the urea to start breaking down and softening this area. I'm just gonna rub it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in and cut the toenails. All right, so I'm using my flat back ingrown toenails and when we're cutting the toenails, we want to remember that we never want to go past the live tissue. So I am using the tip. Perfect. Just like that. I'm taking small little micro cuts using just the tip. So easy controlled, can see exactly where my blade is, and I'm just following and making sure I cut to the very edge. So if I don't cut to the edge, I'm gonna show you guys right here. When you don't follow through, this is when a nail spike occurs, okay? This is when a ingrown starts. So make sure when I say cut, make sure you cut edge to edge, is that you remove that toenail. Does that make sense? Make sure you cut the entire free edge. I really like these nippers versus using clippers because it allows me, especially when the toenail like this starts to bend, to get in there and have full control. I'm gonna cut them down and then I'm going to refine them with a file. All right, I'm gonna like, now that I've softened this up, I'm gonna take this down a little farther as I can see that the nail's already detached. Beautiful. All right. Now where I can see that there is some impacted nail, that's when I'm gonna go in here, just right on the edge. Gonna keep my blade flat. And this is what I wanna start in between the groove. Trying to do it in one solid piece so it Amy, how's this feel? It's a little tender. And now I'm taking my Boss Lady Excavator, the smooth side. I'm running against that lateral fold and scooping out debris. Soap scum, impacted skin, all of this I want to remove to reduce that pain that she's feeling. I'm also gonna go in with my rasp afterwards and make sure I smooth that edge in which I just cut. Be very careful, especially right here at the edge. If there's a little bit of the nail that's digging in, make sure you cut it out. We don't want any rough parts of the nail plate. Rough edges lead to ingrowns. And some people are just more prone genetically. Footwear, improper toenail cutting, getting back in this area. I'm only pulling the debris out towards myself. I'm not going back and forth. I'm definitely being aware of my client's sensitivity. Also gonna do the other side. Oops. Like this is all detached. So technically you could cut all that, but then you wouldn't really have a uniform look. But what I want to make sure here is that this is not digging in. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to shape them. 
toenails don't need to be straight. What our most important part is, is making sure we don't have any rough edges digging into the skin. Cutting your toenails regularly will, de will depend on how quickly they grow out. Do not cut the free edge of the toenail below the skin, okay? That's how low you should cut them before you break the live tissue. So let's go ahead and remove that debris. Anytime my client, she's jumpy because she's ticklish, not because there's any kind of pain. And you're gonna see more redness here because we just cleaned out. Some of that redness is just more blood flow as we cleaned out right here, that impacted nail. And now I'm gonna go in with my rasp and just make sure it's smooth so as it grows out. This is something you can encourage and show your clients how to use. When they get out of the shower, the smooth edge goes against the skin and we just pull. The little teethy side acts as a file. We get right underneath that nail and pull. This is a lot easier than taking like a hand file like this and trying to really get in there. Then we just start creating these weird angles. And we're just smoothing all of this so that the toenail will grow out and not down into the skin, causing discomfort. Now, depending on your client's footwear, most likely this will continue to come back. So this is when I am going to recommend um, to my client trying a product called Onifix, which is just this little band that we apply right here that we custom build to freeze the nail in place so that it grows out straight and not down. So my client had shared that her great toe has always been thickened and yellow. So I'm going to recommend a take home product for her, which is healthy nails to spray on it once a day. All right, I've cut the toenails and now what I'm just doing is some basic dry cuticle work just to like create that pretty look. Just refining it. Once again, just smoothing out this area in which I've been cleaning.